Hello and welcome to CAOT 113. I'm your instructor, Vladimir Peransky, and in this short demo, we're going to uh, change the picture and then to black and white and then colorize it. So let's go ahead and get ready to do this. First of all, we have our picture. And notice I downloaded it from dreamstime.com. So I'm just going to go ahead and crop that out just a little bit, right? There we go. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this image. I'm going to go to images and I'm going to, uh, excuse me, under image, I'm going to actually de de uh, uh, desaturate it, right? And make, basically making it black and white. Now from this point, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add color layers, solid color layers. Right, and there's a solid color layer. The color of the rose. So I'm going to zoom in. It's not a good image. You can see the pixelation, but I'm going to do my best. I'm going to quickly select the rose. There we go. I'm going to select the rows and I'm going to apply color to it. Invert it. There we go. And now I'm going to paint this white area. Do you see what I'm guys what I'm doing? I'm painting this whole area. But now it doesn't look like a rose, it looks kind of ugly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this layer and I'm going to say color, right? And now we have a red rose. Let's go ahead and change the color a little bit more on the rose. Notice how the color is changing. Let me go ahead and see if I can make a blue rose. Right? Or maybe even an orange rose. There you go. That looks nice, right? Now I can also do the same thing. I'm going to add another color. Right? I'm going to add another color. And I'm going to add red. Well, I already have red. Why, why are we adding this red color? So let me go ahead and zoom in and I'm going to do a quick selection. That's not a good selection. I'm going to do a quick, as you noticed, I'm using a, um, a quick mask. There we go. There's my selection. Let's see how that looks like. Right, there's the selection that I have. And I'm going to put it to the top. And now I'm going to There we go select. I'm going to go ahead and add a solid color. Right. And I'm going to drop the solid color below. And what I want to select. There we go. I'm just selecting his eyes, right? There's my selection of his eyes. Doesn't look quite good, but you know, L. I'm doing it really quickly, right? And I'm going to use a brush. 
and I'm gonna paint. And now deselect his eyes, but I need to make it a collar. Oh, that's what I forgot to make her lips collar. That's why her lips look weird collar. There we go. That looks a little bit better, right? And we can always change, you know, if we don't like the shade of collar we have, we can always down, down play the collar a little bit, right? We can modify the collar, let's see. She'll have blue lipstick to match his. Uh, she looks cold, right? Let's go ahead and change the lipstick to back to There we go. And let's change his eyes. Uh, this looks a little bit too much. Let's go ahead and give him the light blue eyes. There we go, right? Blue eyes, rose, right? The fill is all the way up, right? So let's see what else can we do. Let's give him a tone color, right? Now we can actually select we can actually select their skin, right? Or we don't have to select the skin. What we can do is actually do a color, do a color. Let's go ahead and see what skin color they're going to have. There we go, right? I'm just replacing the skin color with what I'm going to do, right, for them. So now, we have a skin color. Uh, if we paint everything black, everything is going to be revealed. So let's go ahead and pick a brush. There we go. Now I'm going to change it to white. going to make a sharp brush. Very good. And now I'm going to paint their skin. I know. How weird is that, huh? There it is. And now I just have to go ahead and say color, right? So now if I don't like the skin color, I can modify it. There we go. Right? And now we have his skin color. Well, if you want to make her skin color the same, you can, but usually that's not a good idea. So let's go ahead and create a solid color again. Click OK. Click OK. Right, and I'm going to go ahead and paint that all in black. And now I'm going to zoom in down to her and I'm going to go ahead and say color. And this is the initial color. It's not going to be her color, but I'm just using the color so I can paint over her, right? It gives me a reference. Instead of painting over, let me go ahead and use a selection tool.
let me go ahead and use a quick select tool. We're gonna to have to be careful with that little, little rows right in there. So there we go. I'm trying to do it pretty quickly. There we go, right? That's for selection. So now we are going to use white to paint. And there's her color really quickly. Oh, let's go ahead and use black to paint the hair. Right. And we can zoom into this and paint out the rows. There we go. So now we have her color and now we can change her color. Once we have it, we can give her a different color. Let's see. Colors are very, people color is very difficult to do because you're trying to get a certain color that you think might work, right? So it's a give and, give and take, and let's see how we do it, right? And of course, look at him, right? We need to also do his color of his hands. So let's, let's go ahead and zoom in. Uh, where's his hands? I think that's his hands right here. And we need to paint it deselect. Actually, let me go ahead and use a uh, quick select tool. Deselect. Uh, tolerance of maybe 50%. Select. Okay. Let me go ahead and just use a quick select uh, mask. There we go. I'm just using a quick select as I did in the past. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Right. I just inversed it because I had the wrong thing selected, right? You always got to be careful what you're selecting. There we go. Little touch up. 
and there is colorizing the image. That's as simple as that. And of course, you can continue giving the rows a different color, but this is how you colorize an image. These are, in a way, a masks. See all of this black hiding? And it's only revealing the color you want to reveal, right? So all of these are masks, right? And you're using a mask to colorize this image. How cool is that? Thank you for joining me and have a wonderful, wonderful day.